The P20 Lite from Huawei is the smallest sibling in the P20 series of devices. However, it still seems to pack an interesting camera setup at the price. The smartphone may come to Indian shows soon, possibly in an Honor branded suit. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and this is our camera review of the P20 Lite. The P20 Lite or Nova 3E as it's known in some markets comes with a 16 megapixel rear camera as well as a 2 megapixel depth sensor, both of which sport f2.2 aperture. In terms of image quality, the P20 Lite is very good and it also has a really great native dynamic range that's better than the Note 5 Pro. We have done a comparison to a Note 5 Pro which we shall link in the description below for your viewing pleasure. As we mentioned in that, the P20 Lite produces images that are vibrant with good white balancing. In terms of low light photography, it's perhaps the best in the segment as it manages to hold on to a lot of detail, even more so than the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the noise isn't too bad. There's plenty of detail in the shadows as well as highlights. The HDR mode on the P20 Lite helps a lot in low light situations especially and you get much better results than without the HDR mode turned on. So if you're using a P20 Lite, you may want to make use of the HDR mode not just in well-lit situations, but in low light too. When it comes to a portrait mode, the P20 Lite holds on to details well and has good dynamic range where the highlights are kept in control. The portrait mode on the P20 Lite is very subtle, but the wide aperture FX mode allows you to get more blur and it can convert highlights into bokeh balls. It can go from f.95 to f16, but between f2.4 to f4 is pretty much the sweet spot for good detailing as well as shallow depth of field. At the front, there's a 16 megapixel f2 camera on the P20 Lite which captures detailed photos and the image colors are natural with good contrast. In terms of the portrait mode, the blurring effect is done well, but the edge detection could use some refinement. The ears in particular do tend to get blurred out at times and we hope that Huawei fixes this with a software update. In terms of video recording, the P20 Lite can shoot 1080p videos with both the front and rear cameras. It's got good dynamic range, good colors and low noise levels. However, one thing that was needed is EIS. That would have made it a good tool for vloggers and we hope Huawei releases an update that enables it in the future. The front facing camera also captures similarly good colors and low noise levels on video. So this is the front facing camera of the P20 Lite capturing video. Let me know how the overall dynamic range is, the sharpness, the stabilization and even how well it's became my voice. And even though there's no EIS, just let me know how you guys think the image is being stabilized on this, how well it is being stabilized. The P20 Lite is a good smartphone when it comes to its photography game. The low light performance and HDR mode in particular are pretty good. The only slight letdown is the lack of EIS in video mode, but since that's a software based thing, we hope that Huawei enables it in the future with an update. If you're looking for a pretty good smartphone for his camera game, then the P20 Lite won't disappoint. Thanks for watching this video, see you again in the next one.